Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. to my zone online school my name is teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today our theme this week is culture traditions and houses and before we get into any lessons boys and girls we must sanitize remember sanitizing is not the only option to stay safe you can choose to maintain your social distancing as well, which means no touching of anyone or anything that doesn't belong to us. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. Well done. For today's lesson, we will be talking about creative writing, nouns and prepositions. For our exercise today, please can you turn to page 18. On page 18, we are going to be doing a crossword puzzle. Yay! And with our crossword puzzle, we are going to be using the sound A. Everyone, let's say A. A. Now, if you look at the word bank, we have the words that have A in them. So let's read our words. We have sail, rain, paint, train, pale, snail, tail, nail. Now, it's going to be our job to make sure that these words find a home in the crossword puzzle. So we are only going to do three words together. Let's take a look at the board. So the three words that we are going to work with are sail, rain, and snail. Now, we're going to be using the pictures that you have in your book to try and find out where they go. So the first picture that we're going to be looking at is the one on top here with an animal and that one is a snail. Now remember, if the picture is on top, that means we are going down. But if the picture is on the side, that means we're going across. In this case, the picture is on top of a snail. So we are going to use the word snail to fill in in the boxes. Remember, each letter gets its own box. So let us start. We have the S and then N and then A, I and L. Now we have spelled the word snail and because it is now in the crossword puzzle, we can cross it out on or in our word box. Let's now look for the word rain. Let's take a look in your exercise. Now where you can see there's a cloud and there's some drops, that is for the word 
rain. So we are going to fill in our word rain going across. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Now remember the fun thing about a crossword puzzle is that the words or the letters are already there. They are there for us. So we just need to fill in where they are not. Now for the word rain, our A is in its rightful place. So we are going to start with our R. And now there is no need to write an A because it's already there. And then we say I and L. This way, oh oh, not L. <laughs> Silly teacher Mutsa. We are going to write N, not L, teacher Mutsa. <laughs> so now we have the word rain. And because we have the word rain, we cross it out in the word box. Now, the last word we're going to do is the word sail. It's already there in your book, so all we have to do is complete it in the crossword. Our S is already where it needs to be. So that means we are adding our A, I, and L. And now we have the word sail. So now we have all our three words and we cross it out from the bank. This way we have completed one part of the crossword. So that means the rest of the fun is up to you to have. I'm going to see you after the advert break. Do you have children in the age range of 5 to 6 years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 74 3759 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. For our first exercise today, let us turn to page 19. On page 19, we are going to be doing some creative writing. This one is very exciting because we have to write eight sentences about your home and draw a picture in the block below. So what you are going to need to do in your creative writing is explain which material is used in the house and the functions of the different rooms. Now I'm going to be helping you a little bit and I'm going to make a few sentences. Along the way, we are also going to be talking about punctuation, how to use a full stop, a comma, and a question mark as we go. So we're going to use some of our vocabulary words, which were house, rooms, bathroom, and kitchen. Of course, you can use other words as well as we go along. So let us start with the opening sentence. Now, when we are doing our opening sentence, boys and girls, it needs to be something that introduces what we are talking about. So as I am writing, I would also like you to write as well. So please take your pencil or your pen and follow with me. Remember, we need to make eight sentences, but with me, you are only going to make a few. So we're going to start with our house is, and then you tell me about your house. Maybe it is very big. Maybe it's a little small. Maybe it is beautiful. Maybe it is in the city. So you are going to start with the word house from our vocabulary words. So you need to start with our house or my house is, and then you tell me about your house. So I'm going to start with my capital letter M. Let me use a different color so you'll be able to see. Let's say red for now. So I have, oh, rather orange. <laughs> I like orange. So our house, rather my house, Capital letter M is the first thing that you need to remember. It is part of your vocabulary and it is also part of your punctuation to make sure that the sentence starts with a capital letter. 
capital letter M for the word my and then we continue my house the word house is on the board so you don't have to look for it my house is I'm going to say my house is very beautiful so I'm going to write the word very and then I'm going to write our long word beautiful you can also copy me but I'd really really like you to do your own work because this is creative writing and that means you can be as creative as you want and not copy from teacher all the time so I have written my sentence my house is very beautiful to finish my sentence I'm going to use a punctuation mark in this case a full stop so I'm going to put my full stop so now my sentence says my house is very beautiful I have my first sentence so the next one we need to talk about remember the material that it is made out of or how it is built okay I'm going to say it is built out of bricks so I'm going to continue my line remember our lines go from one side to the other and just because our sentence is done it does not mean we start a new line instead if there is space to continue that is where we are going to put our next sentence so I'm going to say it is because I know that the word it is can fit in the space left it is there we go remember I put a capital letter I so I expect you to also put a capital letter for your sentence and it says it is then I now go to the next line built out of so I'm going to write the word built there we go built out of And then my word of now before I continue the sentence remember boys and girls houses are built out of many different things so you can actually take a look at your house and see if it's built out of stone or brick or cement or it is a mud house or it is a straw house or wood as well so I'm actually going to say built out of bricks so I'm going to write the word bricks and then after that I have nothing else to say in this sentence so what do I do boys and girls I am going to put my full stop now we know that houses are not just built out of bricks there are many things that can be made up to make a house so there is bricks but there is also wood so instead of putting my full stop like i did i'm now going to remove my full stop and use a comma now remember we use a comma when we are listing things in a sentence so I said bricks but I also want to say glass and wood now I have three things that the house is built out of so I have bricks and because I'm going to put something else to list instead of the full stop I'm going to use the comma so I'll say built out of bricks comma and then I'm going to write glass I hope you're still with me <laughs> glass because of the glass doors and the glass windows and then because we're now going to the last thing that I'm going to list I now put the word and for the wood 
So I'm putting the word and and there we go. But boys and girls, I'm not sure if the word would is going to fit here. We must not make our set our words squash into one line. So because I've seen that hmm, maybe it's not going to fit, I can now go to the next line where I can write the word would. And there we go. I have said that my house is very beautiful. I put a full stop. It is built out of bricks, comma, because I'm still saying what it is built out of, glass and wood. Now what is missing behind the word wood is my full stop. So I have talked about the house and I've said what it is built out of. Now we can use another vocabulary word, which is the word rooms. So I can say there are how many rooms? I'm going to say eight rooms. So my sentence is going to say capital letter T for the word there, there, and then my next word is are. Remember to keep your handwriting neat, boys and girls. And I hope that as you are following, you are also writing as well. They are, and I will use the number name eight, not the number eight. So I'm going to write the number name, which is eight. Because when we are doing creative writing, we need to use the number names. So there are eight rooms. There are eight rooms. Then I'm going to write in. And because I have no more space here to write, I'm going to write the on the next line. The and then house. There are eight rooms in the house. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's do another one. There are eight rooms in the house. And because I am done with my sentence, I put a full stop. So now let's read my creative writing from the beginning to where it is now to just check if there are any mistakes. Number one, my house is very beautiful. That's the first sentence. Second, it is built out of bricks, glass, and wood. Full stop. There are eight rooms in the house. So, so far we have three sentences. I have used the word house and rooms. I can now choose any of the other vocabulary words as well. Remember, you are free to talk about the color. Maybe the bathroom is green or yellow. Maybe the furniture, which means the things inside the house, the kitchen has a black stove for the colors. And then you can even tell me what you do in the different rooms. In the bathroom, we take a shower and use the toilet. Please may you take your time when you're doing this. I really want you to think. And when you are done, don't forget to make sure that you have put the correct punctuation marks. So you're going to make eight sentences. Make sure that they are beautiful and spelled correctly for each word. You can use your vocabulary words and your sight words to help you make those sentences. And when you are done, 
you can join me on page 20. Now on page 20, we are continuing with our punctuation and we are going to be rewriting sentences that have been mispunctuated. For these ones, you are going to be using the punctuation marks we have been talking about. First of all, capital letters are part of punctuation. And then you're going to use the ones that we have been talking about on the board, which is, which are the full stop, the comma, and the question mark. So take your time when you are rewriting the sentences and make sure that they are correct. So I will see you soon after you have done your uh, creative writing, then drawn your beautiful house, and then lastly, to fill in the correct sentences. I will see you soon after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. We have now come to the end of our lesson, boys and girls, and I hope that you managed to finish all your exercises. Remember, if you're not sure about something, you can always ask for help. Make sure though that you end up doing the work by yourself. Now that we are done with our lesson, we need to sanitize. So please take your sanitizer and you rub inside, remember, around your hands, very good, in between your fingers, on your wrists and your fingertips. Good job. I wonder though, I have not seen Sashi in a long time. I think he's outside. Sashi? Sashi? <laughs> there he is. Hello, Sashi. So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye. Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF for Every Child, My Zone Online School and Amos Meerkat Syllabus.